walk into him without throwing a punch. Throw the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Biggs putting on a show for the fans in this fight so far but it's not the kind of show that his corner wants to see. Yes, he's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard as we start round number four, but considering the fact that they've already traded knockdowns, anything can happen from here on out. Yeah, but if I'm in the corner, I'm taking a negative, a positive negative, I'm turning it into a positive. I'm gonna tell him, hey, look, you've been down now, don't let it happen again. You know what his strengths are, don't play into them. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Blocks away that headshot. How about that left hand? Well targeted two punch combo by Big. Big's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Great hook to the head that time. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Each man able to land an uppercut. Biggs is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Move your head. Nice solid left hand scored by Kid Dynamite. Good flush shot upstairs. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He scored well up top. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. Big's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Jabbing a straight by Big. Right back at him with a left hand. Forward, forward. You're not focusing. Good plus shot by Kid Dynamite. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Halfway into round number five here. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Big. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Super two-punch combo by Big. Well off the mark by Kid Dynamite. Little head knocking with that right hand. Kid Dynamite's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he took, 
He thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Done. Add in that round. You're in control. Next round. And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? Nick's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Come on, come on. Focus! Kid Dynamite's game plan was to get to the inside and score and have success with a power punching on the inside, Teddy. It's not happening. So what is the answer? Well, first of all, why is it not happening? He got caught a punch earlier on his way in, and I think he hasn't gotten over that. He's still worried now about getting in there. That, that punch from before, from a couple rounds ago, is still playing on his mind. What an excellent two-punch combo by Big. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Bigs tagged. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. Keep your back off the ropes. That is boxing 101. A nice crisp combination by Big. Jab with a straight, classic combination. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. And this round comes to an end. Big's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do. And he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Big. Big's hit to the head. Move your head. Kid Dynamite's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. A punishing punch by Big! Doubles up the jab. Big shot there. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. Two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? 
Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. A piercing uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Away from the corner. Inside, inside. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Big. Nice two-punch combo by Big. Move your head. Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. Start of round number eight, you see Teddy's scorecard. Quite a discrepancy between these two. Kid Dynamite's corner has to figure out a way to get him back to where he was when he scored a knockdown earlier in this fight. Well, they have to go back to what worked. It was the right hand over the jab. It was timing. It wasn't about power. It was about timing. That's what they got to get back in his mind. Able to dismiss that body shot. Kid Dynamite's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Biggs trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Oh, you gotta like that hook by Kid Dynamite. Can't work in the body. Oh, what an exchange! Stay on the inside! A classic one-two combo by Big. Last ten seconds of the eighth round. Focus! And round eight comes to an end. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven. to the head by Kid Dynamite. Now committing to that jab straight hand and it works out. Keep moving, keep moving. A headshot blocked. Not able to land the headshot. Solid left hand to the head. I think it has come to that point. He's behind on the cards. He's just got to be. Going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. It's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab. You're looking to set up punches. You're looking to go rounds. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. Left by Kid. Look at that. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. One, two, three, four, five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. 
Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Side side. He missed with that headshot. And that's the end of round nine. Hit Dynamite's in control of this fight, scoring the knockdown in that last round, now trying to carry some of that momentum through. Well, right now, he's, we're going to find out if he's a finisher. And promoters, fans, they love finishes. Networks, they love finishes. Right now, he has a chance to show that's what he is. It is the final round. Here they go. Come on, get Good block there by Big. Putting him into the corner there, backing his man in. Big's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Very accurate two-punch combo by Big. Biggs well off the mark that time. To the belt line. He, oh, a big shot comes home for him. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. Look at this. Kid Dynamite's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards. It ends by knockout. That's why as a trainer, you like a fight that's close, that's closely contested. There's a little danger going on because then you know that your guy's going to stay alert. Here, there was no danger. He fell asleep, and now he is asleep. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.